Where I'm standing right now is where our old cottage used to be. Um, I used to vacation here pretty much for as long as I can remember. Behind me is Edgartown Great Pond, and I have lots of fond memories of running around here looking for horseshoe crabs and seashells and whatnot. So when I was younger, the pond was very clear and it was nice to swim in. Um, when we were old enough to swim, we would take our boogie boards and swim across the pond from one side to the other having races. And then as I got older, gradually the pond it became more slimy and less enjoyable to swim in. So we would opt for kayaking out to South Beach or just walking along the shoreline and seeing what we could find. Uh, a lot of the challenges for the infrastructure is uh, dealing with our natural resources. Uh, the wetlands on the island um, become more and more important uh, conservation of those lands. Um, we, you, you want to expand to raise the revenue so you can build more infrastructure, but the, the negative side is that we only have so much land on an island. We have a lot of houses that are like right on the water. Some of our um, grinder pump stations are literally four feet from the ocean. Um, so you can, during a nor'easter or um, hurricanes or anything like that, it's a really good possibility for the majority of the storm that they're going to be underwater. The town is a seasonal resort community. Uh, the population of the island overall goes from 17,000 in the winter time to excess of 110,000 in the summer season, which is basically Memorial Day to Labor Day. The island of Martha's Vineyard consists of a glacial moraine and a glacial outwash plain. Everything that you see now behind to the south is basically dead flat all the way to the ocean. The first low pressure grinder pumps in Edgartown went in in 1999 and those were for sites where you couldn't get pitched to the existing gravity sewer that was built in 1974. In 2004 we were issued what's called a TMDL, it's a total maximum daily nitrogen loading for the Edgartown Great Pond which is down gradient of the facility. At that point, we needed a way to sewer substantial areas inside the watershed uh, pretty quickly, pretty economically, and inconceivable to get gravity sewer. So we needed an all-terrain solution to do these neighborhoods and get a lot of people off of septic and onto the sewer system rather quickly. Some customers are concerned about the maintenance costs and the uh, service issues that you could have if a pump failed or needed service. Uh, because of our location, we have come up with, with what we call the uh, continuity of service argument. Whether you're on gravity or you're on low pressure sewer, you pay the same rate, your pump gets serviced. Uh, we turn around pump repair calls in about 45 minutes here on the island for our customers. Costs aside, You've got to make your people happy. If your people are happy, it's a lot easier to explain to them what maintenance costs mean. Uh, the quality of life in Oplos before the all-terrain sewers came in was um, everybody had septic systems or cesspools, mainly with cesspools when I was a kid, and then they went to the Title V septic systems. Um, ground percolation was a, it became an issue. Um, if you notice there's places here like the campgrounds that they're really densely populated and there is no place to put a Title V system in the ground. In order to meet the nitrogen limit, we had to remove 300 septics from the watershed. If you're trying to do a nitrogen mitigation plan, you have to look comprehensively at all the tools that are out there and use the best possible mix of those to attain your goals. There are at least 60 towns on the Cape that have TMDLs hanging over their heads. We got a water quality assessment for the Great Pond and we are probably the first ones in the Commonwealth to have met the TMDL. So they started installing all-terrain sewer systems here and I'm hopeful that it will gradually improve the water quality of the pond since I did see over the years that the water quality diminished and we didn't want to go swimming anymore and hopefully 
the young children that come out here in the future will have a swimmable pond that they're excited to leap right into when they first get here.